YouTube, what's going on? We're another YouTube video. We're back again. As stated yesterday, we were getting that pump that we were talking about. The little tiny, tiny, tiny little short rally. Um, altcoins are actually seeing it now. Money is actually moving into altcoins, out of Bitcoin and into altcoins. Typically, that shows that people actually want to get out of Bitcoin because they see that the alt might expect a rally. And that means that we could start to expect a movement back up to this level around here, about 21 and a half. That would be a nice way to test our previous highs and start to come either lower or to obviously find support and progress higher. Right now, you can see here with Bitcoin, if we go to the four hourly time frame, that we are hovering on thin ice. You are literally, so our, um, you, you can see here, if you entered our trades that we took yesterday, your take profit would have been hit. My stop loss has been moved lower. My take profit has been moved lower. My stop loss is not here. Like I've got rid of it. It's, it's in profit. So it's completely risk free trade. And let me just take two minutes to show you guys that. Um, so here you go. So I want to show you the trend analysis that we posted yesterday. So we posted all the trend analysis all here. So I posted a fib here saying that, okay, we're getting support in the 382. I want to see it get to 618, which also matches up with that yellow line that we got across our board, this yellow line right here. And that's, that's double confidence for us as well. And I wanted to see us break below the EMAs for a trade. As I can see there, rejection and cross of EMA. Close below 50 EMA was semi short. And I saw this engulfing and I entered the trade. And you see here, I... I kind of pitched out this left shoulder head and a right shoulder potentially forming. So I enter this this trade and we do teach a strategy. So it's an EMSB, so early market structure breakout. Um, so before the market structure even forms, you enter a trade. Um, like just, So it's pretty cool. I saw the DXY pumping as well. And obviously that that, that led me to get in on the, on the trade. And obviously the patron got on the trade as well. Bang. Then we saw it move upwards, got out. We got back in and bang, look at this. Straight into huge, huge, huge gains. And now, obviously, I said here, we've done it again, putting stop loss into profit and letting this trade run risk-free. TP also removed so I can catch a bigger move. So I'm still obviously falling. I might um, take take all my profits now. Um, so, yeah, it's brilliant. But, yeah, guys, if you do want to join, Patreon is down below in the in the description. Uh, if, you, if you don't like it, you get 100% refund at the end of the month. So make sure you guys join, try it out. There's, a, there's only, only limited spot for the cheaper option, which is exactly, you basically get exactly the same. Um, apart from one-to-one -one calls, make sure you guys do check that out and join down below. Like I said, risk-free. If you guys don't like it, I'll give you your money back. I'm sure you guys will learn. We've got loads of members in there who are loving it and learning it and earning tons of money per day. Yeah, I mean hundreds of dollars a day. Okay, so yeah, check it out. But yeah, so on the one hourly time frame, it, things are looking pretty, pretty decent. We can kind of see, if I get rid of this now, you can kind of see that we are forming this potential bullish flag. Okay. This would actually lead us to, to, to break upwards, maybe towards 20.9k. One thing that is worrying me is this, Okay, and I will show you guys this in the past. So whenever we do spend too much time along the 15 EMA, we tend to see a massive rejection from it. And I'll show you that almost everywhere. So like here. So we saw big rejection, um, I was hugging the EMA there. Let me get closer to it for you guys. Hugging the EMA there, what happened after? A big rejection. Came back up, hugged the EMA, fell. Came back up, hugged the EMA, fell. Same thing, fell. Hugged the EMA, fell. So we can see that every time we are touching this EMA, we are seeing a bigger drop. So what does this mean for us? Are we going to see a bigger drop here? And if we do, where will it go to? Well, we have to understand that if we do see a bigger drop here, it's because we've had multiple, multiple, multiple projections from this level. So we'll see a bigger drop towards either 19k or to this previous low right here at 20k, bang on the nose. Okay, so we should put a little line there like that. And if we do break this level, it means that we could see a retest of this level and then a drop. Because I do believe that we do need a relief rally. We do need to see some sort of... of of rally towards the upper levels of 21, 22, maybe even 23k. Okay, we do need to see something like this, a big bounce and then maybe a dead cat. Okay. And I think maybe before this happens, the market makers need to push us below simply because we have so many people who have their stop losses behind these levels that the market makers want to push us, get them out, fall a bit more, and then obviously pump. And then all these people who lost money there will start foaming into the market and obviously create a bigger pump and then obviously we get a bigger dump afterwards so that's kind of how markets move markets play that's why i want to see that happen and start progressing with that um like what can we expect ltc usd let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see any other um, old coins so i'll do a bitcoin and ethereum or something like that let me know 
Um, also make sure you smash that like button on this video guys if you are enjoying the daily content because I do make sure that I do this every single day for you guys so you guys are updated with the chart. You can see here, like I said, the altcoin has started to pump slightly. Um, Litecoin literally nearly at $50, big resistance coming up. If we get rejected, we can see potential move back all the way back down to 41. I will be looking to trade this if we see a bigger rejection off the potential EMA. Come come up, come down, retest and bank. I will look for a nice short. There with a really nice tight stop loss. So that'll be a really brilliant trade to either get a two, three, four X on your investment. And um, that's what I typically do. Really nice tight stop loss, nice leverage, come down, and you literally get quadruple your money. Um, but yeah, that's how that's how simple trading is, guys. You just have to take it one step at a time. Look for the easy trades, not the hard trades. You can see here within this seats like this why I would go to the hourly, because within within this bigger resistance. This broader um, widening wedge, you can see we've also formed a smaller bear flag. Okay, so that's double confidence. If we break both these levels right here, that is double confidence, and then that's triple confidence as well because we've broken the EMA. Okay, and then it could be quadruple confidence as well if we get a, if we get a big engulfing candle kind of downwards and a retest is fifth confidence, and you short it and then you're in profit. That's how simple it is. And I teach you guys this all the time in the Patreon. So that's what I'm waiting for for Litecoin. I think we can see a move to 41 and below 41 temporarily before seeing a bigger move towards, obviously, the likes of $60, $70, where we start regaining our biggest strength of the market. Okay, before I end this video, I want to show you guys literally DXY right here, where you can see we pumped a lot. We found resistance um, just right here. And now we are finding support on our EMA. If we get support here and continue upwards, brilliant. I hope that happens. And obviously we'll start to obviously hopefully break new highs. Not all-time highs, but new highs like past here of $105.8, $106. And see other markets start to fall again. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button for me. I want to try and get 15 likes on the video. If you can do that, that'd be amazing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.